A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban. Let's take a review on English review. Set 10 D. Be ready and prepare yourself as we embark. Learn and enjoy this video. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 What do the following lines from William Blake exhort? To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Letter A to believe in fantasy like a child. Letter B to be strong and faithful to God. Letter C to appreciate even the smallest of things. Letter D to be extremely imaginative and creative. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C to appreciate even the smallest of things. The following lines from William Blake's exhort are about appreciating even the smallest of things. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. What poetic device is exemplified in the following lines from Edward Taylor's Hughes Wifery? Make me, O Lord, thy spinning wheel complete, thy holy word my distaff make for me. Make mine affections thy swift flyers neat and make my soul thy holy spool to be. My conversation make to be thy real and real the yarn thereon spun of thy wheel. Letter A Pathetic Fallacy Letter B A Literary Conceit Letter C A Paradoxical Line Letter D Irony of the Statement Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter B a literary conceit. A literary conceit is poetic device that is exemplified in the following lines from Edward Taylor's Hughes Wifery. Make me, O Lord, thy spinning wheel complete, thy holy word my distaff make for me. Make mine affections thy swift flyers neat and make my soul thy holy spool to be. My conversation make to be thy real and real the yarn thereon spun of thy wheel. What does the persona in Hughes Wifery ask God to do? Letter A Complete him as a human being. Letter B Bless him with food and clothing. Letter C Clothe him with the finest silk from God. Letter D Mold him into what God wants him to be. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter A complete him as a human being. Complete him as a human being is the persona in Hughes Wifery ask God to do. Which two sound devices did Alexander Pope use in the following lines? Soft is the strain when Zephyr gently blows, and the smooth stream in smoother numbers flows, but when loud surges lash the sounding shore, the horse, rough verse should like the torrent roar. Letter A Assonance and Consonance. Letter B Consonance and Cacophony. Letter C Alliteration and Onomatopoeia. Letter D Onomatopoeia and Assonance. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter C alliteration and onomatopoeia. Alliteration and onomatopoeia are the two sound devices that Alexander Pope use in the following lines. Soft is the strain when Zephyr gently blows, and the smooth stream in smoother numbers flows, but when loud surges lash the sounding shore, the hoarse, rough verse should like the torrent roar.
What figure of speech is exemplified below? The wind stood up and gave a shout. He whistled on his two fingers. Letter A Illusion Letter B Metaphor Letter C Onomatopoeia Letter D Personification Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D Personification. The personification figure of speech is exemplified below. The wind stood up and gave a shout. He whistled on his two fingers. What type of sonnet is exemplified in the following lines? When I consider how my light is spent ere half my days, in this dark world and wide, and that one talent which is death to hide lodged with me useless, though my soul more bent. Letter A English Letter B Petrarchan Letter C Spencerian Letter D Elizabethan Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter B Petrarchan. Petrarchan is the type of sonnet that is exemplified in the following lines. When I consider how my light is spent ere half my days, in this dark world and wide, and that one talent which is death to hide lodged with me useless, though my soul more bent. Which statement best summarizes the holy sonnet X by John Donne? And poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke, why swell st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more, death, thou shalt die. Letter A death shall cease in the afterlife. Letter B death takes so many forms and ways. Letter C death comes through poppy or charms. Letter D death should not be proud since it is not mighty. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D death should not be proud since it is not mighty. Death should not be proud since it is not mighty best summarizes the holy sonnet X by John Donne. And poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke, why swell st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more, death, thou shalt die. What does the word swell st in the holy sonnet x mean? Letter A grow. Letter B boast. Letter C shrink. Letter D swear. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter B boast. The word swell st in the holy sonnet x means to boast. Which statement about love is true based on Shakespeare's sonnet 116? Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come, love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. Letter A Love never wanes even in old age. Letter B Love grows even to the edge of doom. Letter C Love dissipates when lovers live apart. Letter D Love adapts to changing circumstances. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter A love never wanes even in old age. Love never wanes even in old age, is that statement about love that is true based on Shakespeare's sonnet 116. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come, love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom.
and to the virgins to make much of time, what is the persona's main message? Letter A be wise in marriage to make life more worthwhile. Letter B gather the rosebuds now, before the roses bloom. Letter C marry now, or you may never have another chance. Letter D choose only lovers who, like roses, are of the highest order. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C marry now, or you may never have another chance. And to the virgins to make much of time, the persona's main message is marry now, or you may never have another chance. Which word best describes the speaker in to look hasta, on going to the wars? Tell me not, sweet, I am unkind, that from the nunnery of thy chaste breast and quiet mind to war and arms I fly. Letter A modest. Letter B honorable. Letter C cold hearted. Letter D sweet tongued. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter B honorable. Honorable best describes the speaker in to look hasta, on going to the wars. Tell me not, sweet, I am unkind, that from the nunnery of thy chaste breast and quiet mind to war and arms I fly. To what sensory perception do the following lines from James Joyce's Araby appeal? We ran, to the dark dripping gardens to the back doors of the dark dripping gardens where odors arose from the ash pits, to the dark odorous stables where a coachman smoothed and coomed the horse or shook music from the buckled harness. Letter A Tactile Letter B Auditory Letter C Olfactory Letter D Gustatory Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C olfactory. Olfactory is the sensory perception of the following lines from James Joyce's Araby appeal. We ran, to the dark dripping gardens to the back doors of the dark dripping gardens where odors arose from the ash pits, to the dark odorous stables where a coachman smoothed and coomed the horse or shook music from the buckled harness. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about our topic on English Reviewer. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. It is Teacher Luma Ban YouTube channel.